All right, today one of my clients, Cindy, asked, "Listen, what do you do when you're on the macros and it's just not enough food and you get hungry?" Right? Okay. I got two solutions. The first one is to drink more water. Whenever I'm on competition prep and I got to start decreasing my calories, I always make sure that I get enough water in so it keeps me full. The second one is to pick foods that are very low in calorie, but it's gonna fill you up, okay? And I'm gonna show you one of the one of my favorite recipes that I use when I go on competition prep. Okay, it's a it's an egg white oatmeal with some cheese and blueberries pancake with sugar-free syrup. Sugar-free syrup. I love this stuff. You can see it at Denny's, you can buy it at Don's. Okay, this is my favorite stuff. Do not buy the real syrup because the real syrup is very, very high in carbs and sugar. Okay, so we look at this, right? The serving size is one fourth cup or 60 ml. And as you can see, it only has six grams of carbs. In real syrup, do you know how many carbs is in real syrup with the same serving size, one fourth cup? It's around 40. Okay, so this right here is eight times less compared to real syrup, which is why I like it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make it. You need a scale, of course, right? And it is the end of the day, so I have about 75 grams of carbs left. I have about 35 grams of protein left, and I have about 70 grams of, pro wait, 70 grams of protein. 75 grams of carbs and 35 grams of fat. That's how much I have left. Now I'm gonna eat it all right now, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get about 50 grams of carbs from oatmeal. You can see the serving size is 40 grams dry, right? It has 27 grams of carbs, five grams of protein, 2.5 grams of fat. I'm gonna use double the serving, so that's 80, okay? 80 grams. And this can give me It's going to give me 54 grams of carbs. It's going to give me 10 grams of protein and 5 grams of fat. Okay? So I'm going to put 80 here, right? 78. 80. Okay? 82, same thing. It's okay if you're off by, you know, about 2 or, or 5. That's fine. Okay? So my oatmeal's done. Cheese. I don't know why I just love having this cheese in my pancakes. It just it just tastes so good. Plus, you know, it's it's lower in fat. Six grams of fat, eight grams of protein per twenty-eight grams. Okay? I'm gonna use I'm gonna go a little crazy tonight. I'm gonna use three servings of this. So 18 grams of fat and 24 grams of protein. 28 times 3 is, let's see, 56 plus 28, 64, 84 grams. So I'm going to weigh it to 84 grams. And what I'm doing here is look at the scale. I'm going to set it back to zero. And I'm going to put in 84 grams. Right there. That's 28. 6. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Oh, look at that, 84. I got lucky. Okay, 84. Right, so with my math, that will be, and also I recommend getting a paper and just writing this down. If you can do it in your head, do it in your head. So I know I have 24 grams of protein there, plus my 10, so that's 34. I have 35 grams of protein left to reach. This has zero carbs, basically. It has, uh, I got about 18 grams of fat from this plus my 5 so that's 23 so I have 12 grams of fat left from my 35 so now I'm gonna put in the eggs okay I know that every egg right one egg has 6 grams of fat and 8 grams of protein I'm gonna put in two full eggs
Two full eggs right here. Bam. I'm going to start my stove. Let it heat up. Cooking spray, guys. Cooking spray. Non calorie. Okay? Don't use the oil. Oil, a lot of fat. This one, no fat, no calories. Okay? Just going to spray it here. Spray it here. Go. Alright. So let me do the math again. Let's see. My protein before with the cheese and the oatmeal was at. 10 plus 24, 34, okay? The eggs was eight grams of protein each, right? So 34 plus 16 is 50. So I have 25 grams of protein left to reach for the end of my day, okay? 25 grams of protein, that's easy. These are my egg whites, okay? I know that every one ounce of egg white is three grams of protein. I need 24 grams of protein more, right, to reach my day. So, I know that three times eight is 24, so I need eight ounces, because every ounce of egg white is three grams of protein, okay? Here's my measurement cup. See that, eight ounces right there, okay? Two, four, six, and finally we're at eight. Yeah, there you go. So with this, once I add this in, my protein is done for the day. All right, protein is done. My carbs is at 54, so I still have a good 20 grams of carbs left, in which I will use from my syrup. I'll probably use two servings of this, so that will give me 12. And blueberries, I'll probably put in 100 grams. That will give me 10 grams of carbs. So my carbs is pretty much done for the day, too. My fats... I had a total of 35 before I started. Two servings of this is five. Three servings of this is 18. 18 plus five, 23. 6 grams of fat per egg. That's 12 because I used two whole eggs, right? Two whole eggs. 12 plus 23 is 35. Wow, look at that. I was rounding it up. So with this, I'm going to make this into, let's see, serving size is 60 ml, right? 60 ml, see that? So here's my ml right here. I'm going to go up to 120. Oh, I forgot this is new. I'm going to open this. I should have just bought this today. I went to Bonds before this morning. I was driving back and I didn't realize I forgot to buy the syrup. Ah, all right, you can tell I'm a little annoyed. Okay, so 120, right? Bam, this is 100 and that's basically 120, okay? This is my 12 grams of carbs. Can you believe that 12 grams of carbs? I can't believe that. If this is real syrup, this would be like a good 70 grams of carbs. That was me shaking my head at Irene, telling her to answer her phone later. <laughs> we're in the middle of helping you guys. Okay? Now it's her laughing. Alright, so now I'm gonna mix it all together. I know you're kind of thinking, what the heck is this stuff? This actually tastes really good. And it's, it's so fluffy too, so that's what I really like about it. Done with that. All right, so here comes the magic. I'm just gonna use a little bit. I'm gonna flatten this. There you go. I'm gonna add some blueberries to this. I'm good with my macros. I know that the blueberries from this right here is about, it's about five grams of carbs, okay? All right, so this is my favorite, favorite cutting meal. 
whenever I'm trying to lose weight or get toned and I feel hungry, right? This is what I go to because this fills me up and it's low calorie. This will be done in about probably I would say three minutes. And then in three minutes, you're gonna see just how many how much food this is. And I'm gonna count the calories right now for you too. Let's see. So I know it was 75 grams of protein plus 75 grams of carbs, that's 150 times four. That would be 600. Okay, 600 calories plus my 35 grams of fat. That would be 35 times 9, 270. 5 times 9, 45. 315 plus 600. So this is about 915 calories. Yeah, 915 calories. You go to Denny's, you order like a lumberjack slam, that's like 2,300 calories. You go to uh, BJ's, you get like a pasta, it's usually around like 1,400 calories. So this right here is gonna be less than what you would eat normally going out, okay? And it's good because, you know, it's, it's healthy for you. Besides this syrup, okay, the syrup is probably the only non-healthy part about all of this, but I just can't give up the syrup because I love the sweet. I just love the sweet. Okay, so look, you let it cook, right? Let it cook, and when you feel like it's it's consistent enough where you can flip it, flip it, okay? And that's where you're gonna see the blueberries kind of melt, and then that's gonna give the the pancakes kind of a like purpley look on the other side, okay? It's almost time to, to turn it around. I know a lot of, a lot of, um, usually when you're starting out, I think I'm a little tired, it's, it's pretty late at night, but I love you all, so I'm making this video. So, as you can see, when you're, when you're on the road to cutting and losing weight, you're going to get hungry a little bit, okay, that's normal. But you can put in water in your diet, at least a gallon, and you can eat foods such as this. Foods that are very, that expand, and you can see that it's not that many calories, it's gonna really help you towards your goal. And plus, you gotta pick foods that you really like too. Because so if you really like it, oh my god, if you really like it, you're gonna, you're gonna stick to it. This might surprise you, but if my friends offer me pizza right now versus this, I honestly prefer this because it just tastes so good. And I know that this is helping me towards my goals. It's matching my macros that I have for myself to make sure that I get lean. And who doesn't want to get toned and lean, right? This is all part of the sacrifice. But see, the thing is, is that there is no sacrifice if you enjoy it. And that's one of the secrets, is that you have to enjoy what you're eating. If you don't enjoy what you're eating, you can't stick to it. Because remember, we gotta make this a lifestyle. So you gotta find out these combinations, kinda of experiment around, and have the foods that you love while reaching your goals. Very important, okay? So this is one pancake, it's almost done. Okay, just remember, this, is a, this would be half of my meal. I still have another good half left. And I'm gonna take this out in a moment and show you how big it is, okay? Now remember too, this is 450 calories right here. There's 450 calories here, okay? So it's almost done. Let it cook a little bit more. And, all right, take a look at this. Let me flip it for you. Ah, look how beautiful it is, huh? This is half of my dinner. I'm about to cook the rest right now. So guys, stick to foods that are lower in calorie, okay? You got this. All right, bye.